My name is Peter Enena. I'm a telecommunication and information engineering. I've been building guitars for a couple of years. Building guitars is my passion and I really like doing it. Here is a short documentary of how I do this. I'm based in Nyeri, Kenya, Africa. Building guitar is my passion. The soundboard is made of meruo. So, as I make the guitar, I'm looking at the resonance of the guitar. I'm tuning the bracings. These are very important because they are giving us the quality of the sound we do. So, as I shape them, I'm giving the guitar a very, very good tone. As you can see, as I shape them with the tone, so you make sure they are triangle and you remove some weights here as you can see this glue dries within 15 minutes and it's forming these things so you have to remove them to make sure your guitar is clean
this is a mahogany soundboard i've been using them to make a couple of guitars they have warm tone we have plenty of mahogany here in africa This is of the bedding machine. We have three bulbs here. So they heat this metallic service and when they heat the metallic service you place your the sides here and then you bend it like this. After half an hour the sides will be bent. This is the mold, this is where you put your sides, when you bend them from the bending machine, you place your sides here, then you start constructing the guitar itself. So this is a guitar neck and if you look this is the headstock and the guitar neck as you can see the angle is inclined to about 15 degrees so that when you glue the headstock the neck will be inclined to around 15 degrees so you sand this surface so that the joint can perfectly fit and as you can see this is a finished example of the guitar neck This is finished, I have sanded. This is where we put the truss rod. As you can see, it's very, very smooth and it's ready to be fit into a guitar. This is a finished bridge. It's very, very hard. As you can see, it's able to withstand the very very high tensions of the steel strings. The neck is made of a very hardwood tree we have here in Africa. The tree is called Mutero from the local language and as you can see it's a very very hard tree. It's a very very dense tree. We use it to make the bridge and we also use it to make the fretboard. finished guitar so it's ready for market as you can see it's a very very nice guitar the bridge is made of a very very hard wood as I told you and this is a street steel guitar This is a violin I'm also making, it's in the progress, as you can see this is the back. Building guitar is a hard business, so here in Kenya you have to look for other ways of getting income. Like now I dig in people's farm for about $4 a day, but I'm trying. But my vision is to have a big workshop where I'll be able to produce more and more quality guitars and in large quantity.
majina anaitwa Mirinyambura Ndongo, naishi Nyeri, naishi Nyeri Kahawa. Mimi nataka kusema pita ni mtu mzuri, akaona roho mzuri. Ana ana na talent ya kutengeneza gitaa. Anataka sasa watu wa kumshikilia, wa kumsupport ndio aendelee na kazi yake. Eh, kipata watu wa kumsupport itakuwa vizuri sana ndio na yeye ajinini ajiendeleshe na maisha yake. Eh, pita ako na roho mzuri ya kupenda watu, hana roho mbaya, anajulikana na watu. Anapenda watu sana na anapenda job yake sana. Support pita kwa kazi yake, Mungu atawabariki. We are going to conduct a very very interesting experiment here in the studio at Njiwa Record Studio whereby we are going to test the acoustics properties of the wood and also we are going to check the moisture content of the wood but there are two processes here one method is whereby we use a moisture meter you check the wood like this one indicate 16 percent and also we are going to use an artificial intelligence whereby we are going to train an algorithm and when we train this algorithm it's going to predict the moisture content of the wood just using the taproots. So here is the simple demo of the experiment. Uh, we are going to record the taptones. Taptones are sounds made when you tap the wood. So we record this, we feed it in an algorithm, we extract features and we train the algorithm. And then we make a prediction and see whether you can be able to predict 16% moisture content. Those are the tap tones. So we record the tap tones with the audacity. After recording the tap tones with the audacity, we have an algorithm that has been trained on many, many labeled data, like from 16%, 17%, 20% moisture content. So after we, we train that algorithm on that data, we are taking these tap tones that have recorded here and try to predict and see whether we are going to get 16% moisture content. This is the recorded tap tones, so we are going to feed it in the algorithm that has been trained and predict and see whether we are going to predict 16% moisture content. We import libraries like NumPy, we import Matplotlib, we import Scikit-learn and Liblosa. So these libraries will help us to train our algorithm and make a prediction. So we get the file names, here we make a classes for the moisture content so we have data that is labeled 14 percent 16 percent 17 percent 19 percent and 20 percent so we are labeling our data so that we can feed it in the algorithm and train the algorithm and also make a prediction so this is the way we prepare the labeled data we encode our data we extract features which are called male male mfc's they are very very great features that are used in machine learning and artificial intelligence so especially for the sound we calculate the features we use the browser which is which is a very very great python tool that helps us extract features from the audio so from in our case here we are having a hundred files labeled in those classes that are mentioned before as you can see we normalize our data we use Disney. Disney is a great tool that will help us visualize our data in different classes. And this is the Disney plot in two dimension. We split our data into test, test and train, as you can see. So we classify, we train the algorithm using the k nearest neighbor. So this is the section for loading the data so we want to make that tap tone we have recorded in the studio and see whether we are going to make a prediction of 16 percent moisture content so we load the data as you can see encode it extract feature from it normalize the data and make a prediction as we can see our algorithm has now predicted 16% moisture content. 
which was very very successful. I'm also doing research in the area of violin uh, and uh, I wrote a proposal to the university whereby we were trying to look at the African tone notes that we can use to substitute spruce and maple so that we can be able to make cheap violins in Kenya but their quality. Uh, and an interesting thing with violin is that when you tap the violin like this, that impulse is calling a lot of information. And whatever the violin wants to say, it's contained in that single tap tone. So you can simulate the Stradivarius violin just from a single tap tone like this, whereby you can feed it into a virtual violin and simulate very, very high end instrument like um, the Stradivarius. So in our case, we have seen like woods like Pordohi in Africa, they are great, great tone woods. Woods like Cypress here, they are very, very great tone. And I've seen another wood here called Moringa from the local community. It's a name, it's a wood that I'm going to use for the park. And those are the some of the researches that I'm doing the world of the biology. Thank you. It has been a long journey for me. Uh, I've been doing telecommunication and information engineering for nine years, probably because I had bipolar disorder that delayed my graduation. I'm also continuing with my second degree in electrical information engineering. So thanks for watching this documentary. For those who've watched till the end, like, share, subscribe in my YouTube channel. You can support me by donating in the description below, in the link below, the PayPal below, and I'll be very, very grateful. Thanks.